Let's go through a new update here in MW3, a bunch of rewards you could only get for a limited time, and the first free bundle update of its kind in this game right now. We'll go through all the info in today's video. Be sure to drop a like in the video if you're going to enjoy, and shout out to U4GM if you need help getting MW3 Mastery camos, rare unlocks, and much more. They have a bunch of stuff over there. Use code MAT for an extra 5% off. Links are down below, but first up here, of course, in the store, we have the Rubber Duck Bundle. Time stamps down below to skip around if you guys don't want to watch this part here, but I gotta cover this because it's been a pretty controversial bundle here. It's 1,800 cop points, an operator skin for Corso, and of course, we have a rubber duck mask. I, I mean, it is just, look, it's a bundle that you either really like or you really don't like, or I guess you're in the middle because I I'm honestly in the middle. Am I going to be buying this bundle? Probably not. Am I tempted? Maybe. I I'm not going to lie. The yellow and the black color scheme actually looks pretty fire, although, do I want to be a rubber duck in Call of Duty? I'm not so sure, you know what I mean? But it still is kind of interesting. I'm not against it, but I don't know if I'm fully for it, you know what I mean? Uh, Poem Yacht 762 Blueprint. As I said in the bundle preview we did a couple days ago, the color scheme is actually really cool. So if you're getting this for the weapon blueprints, I mean, it's actually not bad. I like this color scheme a lot here. No tracers, though. This would have been great with yellow tracers, but is what it is, I guess. A DM56, the ducky blueprint here, same type of look. Pretty cool sticker, con card, emblem, weapon charm. So let me know down below, are you gonna be getting this bundle here? It's definitely one of the goofier bundles we've seen in Call of Duty. Again, as I said, I'm not totally against it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be rocking it in the game. But for some people that are probably on the other side here of the bundles like this, and they like more of the Milsim style bundles, this is pretty crazy. So this is the first time Call of Duty has done this here. We have a new gift pack in the store, which usually are okay right but it, it, we're actually getting a weapon camo for the first time here just straight up in the store as a free gift pack some other calling cards uh weapon sticker charm as well but the main one here is the camo this is actually a pretty solid camo the hundreds it's a collab with a different brand of course but regardless of the collab here it's a really cool milsim style camo for people that want that type of stuff and here it is in the special camo section the uh hundreds camo this is a really really cool just like a classic looking camo and even with the brand collab as well you could see those little i guess bomb type of uh art figures there whatever i, I think those are bombs right yeah but regardless it it's a really solid camo for again people that like this type of vibe they don't like all the crazy bundles and camos we've been getting in the store this is available for free so i don't know how long this is going to be here for probably a limited time drop log in redeem this camo it's a universal camo for all weapons solid solid stuff there if they do more stuff like this where free packs we're not just getting random calling cards that honestly no one ever uses we start getting universal camos maybe eventually a full-on operator skin that would be the next level and here's what it looks like in the fire range as well a quick weapon inspect here i don't want to glaze it too much because it's just a simple camo it's nothing too crazy but it's just wild that it's actually for free in the store and it actually looks pretty cool and it's more of a you know milsim style of camo that we really haven't seen much of in this game besides for the base camos but that's really it so let me know down below your opinions on this here if you'll be using this one i definitely will for a lot of gameplays here and yeah hopefully we get more of this in the future now in terms of other limited time free rewards here we have a couple of days left about a week until the prime gaming bundle goes away so if you guys have amazon prime or twitch prime make sure you log in connect your call of duty account and redeem the hip hop hutch bundle it's a bundle that came out for mw2 last year it's a solid bundle though it's available for free just for a week a little over a week from now and then we'll get a new free prime gaming bundle on that store so be sure to get if you have prime gaming you may not know if you even have it ask your parents whatever redeem that there it's completely free and you'll get it right in your game and i'll be sure to update you guys next week on what that new bundle is as i've said hopefully the bundle is a completely new bundle something we haven't seen before because for a lot of people you may have already bought the hip hop hutch bundle last year so to have it again for free doesn't really do you any good because you already bought it so I, I would rather them give us an early preview of a new bundle get it for free and then if you want to buy it after the fact then you could buy it. for everyone who doesn't have prime gaming you'll have the chance to buy as well but again i'll be sure to up to you guys on what that new bundle is and after a bunch of free rewards that will be going away very soon in mw3 we have the ranked play rewards now, i haven't touched ranked play yet but we have 15 days here to get all of the rewards in ranked play season one since it began at the reloaded update usually you have an entire season but now 
now you only have half the season 15 days now as of recording this video for division rewards here there is a bunch of cosmetics you're getting so if you're in the bronze division you'll get the bronze emblem here silver the silver one and gold you'll get a bunch of other things for skins here for cdl gold operator skins pretty solid stuff there we have gold emblem as well a gold charm now for platinum you're getting a four platinum operator skins an emblem and a charm pretty cool or diamond same thing for operator skins all variations of the same cdl operator but still is kind of cool an emblem and a charm as well same with crimson here for operator skins an emblem and a charm uh we have iridescent as well for operator skins an emblem a charm and now a calling card pretty cool and for top 250 pretty difficult to get here you're gonna have four different operator skins with that gold accent look pretty cool almost like a black cell vibe an emblem here actually two different emblems the number one emblem and then two to 250 so most people are not number one obviously but that's what you'll get there we have a top 250 charm as well a calling card and that's it there so a lot of cool rewards to get there of course and for season one rewards as well we have these here season one competitor a uh, little sticker it seems like at five ranked play wins at 10 wins you're getting a pro issue garter knife this probably is doable for a lot of you guys out there 20 ranked wins a weapon charm uh 30 wins a built different weapon decal loading screen at 40 wins here uh all but this is pretty cool the ranked veteran weapon camo at 50 ranked play wins which you have 15 days to complete which is doable but it is a decent amount of wins there and in ranked play especially if you don't have a full squad it might be kind of difficult but it's a pretty cool camo to get at the end of all of this grinding here so those are the extra rewards you're getting for ranked play definitely be sure to get those pretty soon but now for some more free rewards here i've been going through these a lot on the channel it's the cdl viewership rewards by watching matches of the cdl you'll get a bunch of extra cosmetics and xp as well so make sure your activision account is linked to youtube it has to be on youtube because that's where the streams are and of course the opening weekend we had some rewards you can't get these anymore and of course you've been able to get a bunch of extra xp double xp double weapon xp by watching the normal league matches from december to just a couple days ago now this happens every major so for major two which starts in february by watching those league matches you'll get the same rewards here just a bunch of xp super easy stuff there and for the tournament the big major each split you'll get even more rewards here so major one is happening this weekend so be sure to watch on youtube make sure your account is connected again to activision and you'll get a bunch of these cosmetics and rewards here so thursday you're getting 60 minutes of double xp an easy dub emblem 60 minutes of double weapon xp a flip to switch calling card on friday 60 minutes of double xp to the bank calling card 60 minutes of double weapon xp a camper emblem saturday 60 minutes of double xp a we'll be right back emblem double weapon xp a animated calling card here pretty cool on sunday finally 60 minutes of double xp a charm here a frostbite blueprint and a double weapon xp so decent rewards they're nothing too crazy but be sure to go for them this weekend and of course a way to get even more rewards is by predicting matches in the cod pickems which i'll leave a link down below to that as well i've been showing you guys my picks every week i watch a lot of cdl so i usually know what's gonna happen i feel like i've done pretty good this major at 77 points here sometimes there are upsets that i just can't predict but for the most part i feel like i've done pretty well and we have the tournament this weekend here and here's my major one bracket so again if you want to just copy my predictions up on screen you should end up getting some decent points here and if you're cdl fans overall this is a good insight as to you know what i think is going to happen here for this major tournament we have phase moving through optic moving through phase beating optic here we have new york toronto winning their first matches toronto moving through here elim round one a bunch of unfortunate losses here i have leg winning miami winning uh boston carolina winning carolina makes a bit of a run but loses to optic here i have miami out here new york making a run optic beating them loser finals here i have phase actually beating optic so optic still gets top three uh phase in the grand finals with toronto and then i have toronto actually winning the tournament in a close 4-3 win so let me know down below your opinions on what you think is going to happen here for the major one tournament if you are cdl fans but if you're not you just want those extra you know xp cosmetic stuff like that just copy my predictions up on screen for the most part i should be fairly accurate and finally for some rewards going away very soon we have the warzone champion quest rewards and how to get this is by getting five warzone wins in a row like normal or 
get 50 total wins in the season, which is a decent amount of wins, but a lot more doable for most players. And what you'll get at the end of this year is all of these cosmetics up on screen. You're getting a pretty cool weapon camo and an operator skin as well, which usually are pretty sick. And of course, if you don't get this during season one, you'll never be able to get it again. For all the Warzone nuke rewards we got last year, there was never a second chance to go back and get them. They haven't released them in the bundle after the fact as a free Prime Gaming bundle. It seems like once they're gone, they're gone forever. So again, five Warzone wins in a row or 30 total wins in the season for all of these rewards. But overall, that's it here for this video. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.